Let's go to Spain. Do I see my log on? Now let's go see my sister. Hola. So what is a half marathon? A half marathon is a road running event that has 21 kilometers in it or 13 miles. The main reason why they invented this was because uh, they wanted to have some event that was not that difficult like the 42 kilometer is and get something in between for those that want to run but are not maybe even mentally or physically prepared for a full marathon. It is believed that the first marathon was held in 1965 where also the first record was held by Ronald Hill that ran one hour and five minutes which is absolutely amazing. Now the world record is uh, I think 57 minutes uh, held by Jacob Kiplimo and the women's record is held by I think the name was ben is Egyptian here. Uh, these are kind of difficult names, but amazing paces definitely because 57 minutes for 21 kilometers is absolutely stunning. Uh, how my preparations went, uh, they were pretty good. I did only three times per week, so I'm looking for a pace around 4 30, 35. Maybe we'll see how the adrenaline works in the race on the race day. But the main goal is to finish the race because, like I told you, we haven't been running this much. Never in my life have run 90 kilometers, uh, not even 21. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, we'll give it our all and make a good time. About the marathon in Malaga, it's really great because a lot of the running will be right next to the sea, which will be amazing to watch and absolutely lovely to run. So that's why we chose, but also my sister lives here, so it was a great opportunity to catch and see her and the family in Spain and also do the run. So now we are three days out. I think I will do one more or maybe two more runs before I have my main event. Uh, they will be light runs for sure. We got the uniform settled in. We got the logo on there. I don't know if you can see it. Now I will be doing my run. This will be my last one before my Sunday race. So just a light casual run in the streets of Spain. Let's get it. Pick up the package and uh, we'll see uh, what's inside later. So that's the package, that's what it usually contains in every package for every marathon, as my experience is. So we got the number, of course. We got this uh, yogurt, which is a protein yogurt, it's pretty nice. The t shirt, of course, uh, we got a dry fit t shirt, which is pretty nice, a really good material. But we won't be using this small. We got our jersey with the fitted low, of course. Everything is ready. I'm feeling kind of sick, not sick, but coughing a lot. And maybe that will impair my time a little bit because of the breathing. But uh, definitely ready. Uh, tomorrow we get up early and we'll try to get there like one hour earlier. And I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow on race day. Five, seven, but I'm six, eight when I stand on the money pals, money pals, money pals. Need a money counter, I broke my thumb from thumbing down. Wifey on my line, she told me to dumb it down. Mama on my line, asking how I'm dumb now. I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's driving. Tyson with the fade, not that. You can see everybody is warming up. I'm gonna warm up too. I did my exercises now, I'm gonna run for like a kilometer or so. Having trouble with breathing a little bit. I'm coughing a lot, but. I'm going to manage to, to finish the race as, as, as hard as I can. We'll see how it goes. And I'm going to catch y'all on the start. You know it's not, 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 get out of my way. I'm so, I'm so on the shade, throw it to my veins. Like my 2K green or blue, I'm not into games. Focus on your player's face while I'm stacking change. We throw out what you got on your whole crew lay. So finally we're back home and I just wanted to give you my recap of the race. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't film more videos from the race uh, because we didn't have too much battery on the camera. So we just snapshot a couple of pictures and uh, we got some videos of me in the race, like in the middle somewhere where my sister took some videos and also at the end when I was pretty tired and pretty dead. So first of all, as soon as I started the race, I uh, did the biggest mistake a rookie can make and uh, I had a 350 pace on my first kilometer which is absolutely insane my 5k is 350 uh, so that should not happen in a long run especially like a half marathon 21 kilometers but you know with the adrenaline the whole rush the, the crowds and everything 
and I just did the biggest mistake. I started slowly to decrease my pace. I did around four something on my second kilometer and then from the third kilometer and uh, so on. I did my 4.30, I was trying to go for 4.40 throughout the whole race, that would be perfect. I did 4.40 for, I don't know, probably like uh, 10 kilometers. And then on the 10th kilometer, uh, also I had my knee started to hurt a lot. Uh, I don't know why, because when I did my preparations, it, I didn't have that much pain, but over there, I had a lot of pain for like six kilometers. And that's the period when my pace even fell down to five, I think. So yeah, that was, that was kind of demotivated for me because I never ran that slow, honestly. So uh, somewhere along the 17th kilometer, I don't know how, but my knee uh, did not hurt at all. It stopped, it stopped the pain, so I continued with a good pace and uh, at the end, somewhere around like, let's say 500 meters up until the end, uh, I did like a really fast pace. I started sprinting a little bit, also the last few hundred meters, let's say. And that's the only place where I uh, took a couple of spots. Before that, everybody was just going through me, going through me. It was unbelievable because every time I had run uh, the previous races, I was always uh, the one that was catching up and going in the crowds and, you know, uh, climbing up the spots. But now it wasn't like that, honestly. So at the end, I tried to get a couple of spots up and we did that. But when I finished, I was absolutely destroyed first of all because uh, it was raining and uh, that did not help with my sickness and my coughing and everything so yeah as soon as i finished the race as you can see in that video i was pretty dead and uh, now i'm still a little sick but we had to continue the work and the grind however the marathon was amazing it was a great organization it had 6,000 people i think uh, which uh, 3,000 people were in the 21 kilometer race uh, I was 560 place uh, my finishing uh, time was 1 hour and 41 minutes which is okay for a starter you know me I'm always trying to be hard on myself I was looking for 130 I was hoping for 130 but uh, with the with the opportunities that we had and with the conditions it's a uh, good timing let's say uh, 561 out of 3,000 is pretty good for the first race for the first there were 21 kilometers and yeah uh, great challenge of course uh, now we won't be doing too much running because it's winter and I'm gonna lay low a little bit uh, get some other things going and at the next challenge I don't know probably 42 we'll see uh, but hopefully I'm gonna continue this and we'll see how it goes. I hope you like this video and I hope that um, I'm trying to convince you to do something out of your comfort zone, to try and put some effort into something else that is not something you do daily or something that you do rarely and really challenge yourself to go out, kill it and do the best you can and get the best version out of yourself. Uh, see you in the next video.